people say aye. Aye. All those against say nay. The ayes have it. The following financial agreements were ratified. Amended and restated financial agreement social safety net project between the Republic of Sierra Leone and the International Development Association and financial agreement supplemental financing for the emergency economy and fiscal support development policy financing between the Republic of Sierra Leone and the International Development Association respectively. Presenting the two agreements to Parliament, the Minister of Finance and Economic Development, Dr. Kefala Mara, says among other things that both agreements are in line with the agenda for prosperity. He referenced human capital development and poverty reduction, particularly for the aged in 12,000 poverty-striking households across the region in the country. The minister noted that the agreement is straightforward, aimed at the development of the people of this country. The project will target approximately 12,000 extremely poor households in the poorest district in each of the country's four regions. In the East Kono District, 55,821 extremely poor households, which is 22% of the shares. The target is 2,600 households. In the North, Bombali, 113,195, which is 44% target, and it will be 5,300 households. In the South, Moyamba, that will constitute 19%, it will be 2,300 households. And Western Rural, that will consist of 15%, and it will be 1,800 households. Total will be 12,000 households. Honorable Hassan Sheriff, Chairman, Parliamentary Oversight Committee on Finance and Economic Development, commended the International Development Association for both the agreement aimed at reducing poverty in their constituencies in the country and the provision of supplementary support to the national budget. Wise Honorable Komba Kweduyoma of the main opposition Sierra Leone People's Party described the agreement as straightforward with a view of reducing poverty in the poorest regions. Honorable Kwedo Yoma described the supplementary budgetary support as a welcome gesture. Honorable Paramount Chief Ali Kavura Kongomo the Third said the agreement are non-debatable because they are aimed at poverty reduction and the improvement of the economy. PC Kongomo also called for the funds to be used for their intended purpose. The Deputy Minority Leader Honorable Ansu Kai Kai appreciated the help the country is getting from international partners and thanked the International Development Association for both the agreement aimed at poverty reduction and returning the economy to the path the country wished for. Honorable Ansu Kai Kai also recalled the assistance the country has received when the war ended, pointing at the restructuring of the police and the army in the security sector. Why is the majority leader, Honorable Ibrahim Bundu, thank those who signed both the agreement, particularly the International Development Association, for responding favorably? Honorable Ibrahim Bundu said the country is in the state of emergency and the country is receiving emergency budgetary support for the development of the people. SLBC News, Mahawa Aliyu, Freetown.